What is going on today guys? It is time for the day 21 horde. Now we have just 30 minutes before it starts. You're probably wondering what the hell am I doing here when my horde base is there. Well, I'm waiting for this beauty to finish crafting up because I leveled up. And yeah. So I had enough skill points to unlock something for this. Now we have plenty of ammo this time. I have been building my ever-loving ass off over there on my underground base. It is ridiculously huge. I will show you guys that as soon as the horde is done. I have been putting in so much time on that. It's not even funny. Take our mini bike over here. Yeah, as I was saying about that underground base, it is a whopping nine blocks tall. It is 14 blocks wide and it is 30 long it is honestly it's it's stupidly big it I should not have made it that big but it's fun it's gonna be a hell of a thing when it's done but anyway we're up here everything has been reinforced with forged steel now I redid my outside here I added uh, the two extra blocks of concrete, moved the barbed wire back, and then I have three rows of iron spikes set up there. So yeah, hopefully this goes this goes really well. I've been been encountering a lot of rad zombies, and yeah, cops now too. That's another one. Cops are just yeah. Um. I think I'll put this in there like that. And I'll put that, if I can, in my AK here. Just like that. Alright. So yeah, we're set. We are set to go. We got all of our lovely weaponry here. Everything will now be loaded. Good, good. So yeah, this ought to be interesting. I'm not sure what we're going to be in for to be honest it should be pretty pretty interesting that's all i know like i said we've been encountering a bunch of rads cop zombies i went down and i started clearing the red mesa down in the desert i ran i ran into it while i was down there i was actually just out exploring looking for traders because i had i want to say just shy of a hundred thousand dukes I wanted to get what I could as far as better weapons and stuff. And I found a better spear. And honestly, that was it. I bought a couple other things, but nothing too important. You know, just like some miscellaneous crap. But anyway, let's get this going. Let's get our turret drop down here. I'm gonna jump in here. Close this up. And yeah, let's place him down. Come on, right there. There we go. Let's get on up here. Now, I do got to finish building this up. I need to put something on the top because of the vultures. So, so yeah. And as you can see, there's a cop. He just lost his head. So, hopefully there's no rads yet. I'm not really looking forward to the rads. Uh, I don't have rad remover yet as a mod, so... Yeah, it's it ought to be fun. Oh shit! There's a speaking of the damn vultures. But I had I had to make this before Horde Night. I I pushed so hard to get to level 50, and yeah, we made it. I was actually supposed to put a point into machine gunner before I made it, so I could make a quality five one. But you know. I'm too scatterbrained and I forgot. So it is what it is. We have a quality four for now. Before the next horde, we will be having a quality six one. I am going to grind like crazy to make sure that happens. Now I'm loving this. This is actually just just stumping them in their tracks. What is that? Hello. Oh, it's the cop. What is that? P 
puke? Is that what that's supposed to be? Is like puke? I had him. I had him spitting that at me before, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be puke. I wasn't 100 percent sure, but God, this thing is just nasty. This M60. Oh my! This is probably this is probably one of the best ideas I had was to make this baby up before Horde, for sure. I, I love it. Honestly, once we get a grade six and I can put that, what is it, rod and spring thing? Oh shit, hello. Quit moving, and if the game would quit stuttering, that would be nice too. Honestly, I think these spikes are going to do the majority of the work for us. Which is good and bad. I've kind of come to the conclusion that I've been kind of over-leveling. Uh, I mean, level 50, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit much, but it's fun. I, I, can, I can honestly admit it's fun. The zombies, how they are is... Is pretty fun you know the rads I'm not I'm not a huge fan of their like like regen or whatever that is I'll call it but you know it's still it's still fun I honestly I really can't complain too much yet I mean, this isn't too bad as long as we don't have any of the demolishers come in and crash the party, I think that we should be okay. I'm worried about the demolishers because, you know, whoa. Because obviously, you know, they, they blow up. And well, I really didn't read the notes on them to find out exactly how much damage they do. So, yeah, I'm... Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. I'm kind of nervous to find out exactly how much damage they'll do to structures, but... Kill that guy off quick. You're interrupting my train of... Oh, shit, I did it again. What am I doing? I really got to learn how to use these ladders. Ladders whoop my ass in this game. Oh, God. They're sure doing the damage to my spikes. They're taking out quite a few of them. That's kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping them being iron spikes like that, that they'd hold up a little bit, a little bit better. I got to be honest about that. Because they are expensive. Quite expensive. Honestly, M60 might be a little bit OP. I mean, this thing is just, it's honestly just destroying the hell out of them. But I love it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. This is fun. Yeah, like I said earlier, I really can't complain about the zombies. You know, I kind of over leveled and Oh, for a second there, I thought it was over already. But yeah, I kind of over leveled. We have some pretty rough stuff to deal with at the moment with them, but you know, it makes it so much more fun. It really does. I I don't think they're too much to handle, honestly. Oh, come on. I really don't. You know, it's. It's supposed to get more difficult as you go, and it does. It gets the rads and stuff definitely make make for an interesting challenge. I I can admit I can admit that it definitely does. Now 
one thing I want to talk about about the Red Mesa there is the ungodly amount of, of infected that are in it. I mean, it is just, it's nuts. I went there and I, I made the stupid mistake of not taking a gun. So, the amount that just kept coming, it was nuts, ouch. But it made it a, quite a fun challenge, I do gotta say. It really did. I enjoyed I enjoyed every minute of clearing out what I did in there. And honestly right now I am I'm really enjoying this horde this horde base. This thing just stops everything in their freaking tracks. I mean we are having no problem repelling these, even with cops. The spikes the durability on the spikes whoa. Kind of leaves something to be desired, I think. But honestly, I th the spikes are are crushing it. They've killed quite a few of them as well. So it'd be about time to reload this guy. Come grab him up and get him reloaded quick. Put him in the same spot back up here use the ladder right oh you got to repair that a little bit a little bit chuggy at the moment I noticed that it I'm really hoping that performance patch that they're going to be putting out is going to fix a lot of the a lot more of the chugs they did quite a bit of work I will say that their patch stuff that they have done so far has all been pretty nice. Zombie super rage mode. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to do exactly, but honestly, I've had no problems with with anything so far there. There we go. Wanted to get that guy killed off. Where's this cop shooting from? Honestly, I don't even see him, but I can see his. All that crap coming in, so. Yeah, let's keep, oh, no, we, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to check and see how many kills. Cause I wanted to keep track of how many, how many zombies we actually kill off during the horde and I totally spaced it out with, with making this M60. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit of graphical glitching going on. Are you out of ammo? No. Okay. We just all hunker back here behind this pillar. One there's only one thing I can say bad about the about the update and that was when they fixed the durability on stuff. It just made it so pretty much everything needed to be repaired again, which was a bit costly. But at the same time, we're far enough in this in this playthrough where you know that really didn't affect us too much. So, but now our normal playthrough on the pre-gen one is going to be affected quite a bit. I will say that. Oh, come on, Cap. Get down. Ouch. What the? Sit down, thank you. But other than that, you know, this... Like I said, I'm not sure what... What exactly the Super Rage mode is. Um, I've been fighting a lot of these guys, and I honestly can't say that I've noticed Super Rage Mode. I can't honestly say I have. So, if you guys know what the Super Rage Mode is, I mean, maybe I, maybe I have had it, and I just haven't paid attention. 
or noticed it as much. I don't know. But. There's still more, apparently. Okay, I don't think I should have jumped down. I think I might have just made a little bit of, of a boo-boo. Oh, well. What was that? Get off me, Vulture. Okay, yeah, I don't think Horde was over. Oh, we might have just screwed up. Oh, I think we screwed up. That's okay. What is beating on me? Oh, hello. Who needs a horde base, right? When you screw up like that. Okay, come on, use the bandage quick. Get out. Yeah, I did screw up, but I think we got it under control. I say that now until... Until it comes back to bite us. Yeah. Make sure your horde is over before you jump down. Yeah. Because, yeah, I think I screwed up a little bit. Just a little bit. But that's okay. We can... I think we'll be alright. Hopefully. God damn, you guys are fast. Slow down. At least they're all spawning over here. They're not spawning behind me, so that's probably what is saving my my ass right now. You're still alive? Oh shit, hello. I almost want to try to get back up there, but this isn't going horrible yet, so. Puking at me. Oh shit, hello. You dead? Good. We're almost out of ammo for this, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to big boy gun. There you go. Come on. I always have such a hard time hitting. Okay, is it actually over this time? Okay, yeah. So... I really need to learn to be patient. Patience is not, is not something I'm good at. And it just about, it just about cost me there. That was, that was a really dumb move on my part. I honestly can't believe we survived that. I, act I thought the horde was done. I wasn't seeing anything, and being the impatient idiot that I am, I jumped down. I seriously thought it was over. Well, 
It's over now, but yeah. All right, well let's let's take a look. How'd our armor hold up? Our armor barely took any damage. Hmm. All right, well I ain't gonna complain about that. We're now up to 1,735 kills. Now, if you guys remember, at the end of the last horde, we only had 961. So we almost doubled that amount. Obviously, yeah, that's not all from tonight's horde night. But we got... 770 kills almost in seven days that that's kind of nuts but anyway yeah that was fun that was really dumb of me though I yeah that was kind of stupid I should I should really be more patient I should know better but anyway, I'm going to take you guys through just a quick look at this. Now, this is going to be my underground base. Yes, it's stupidly big. And, yeah, I was not intending it being this big. I don't know why I made it this big. What on earth possessed me to do this? But this is going to be it. It's going to have two levels. This is going to be the start of the upper section, and this will be the lower. So each floor is going to be three high. And it's all going to be done in concrete for now. Maybe later we'll reinforce it all to steel. But this has been a hell of a project. I have dug all of this out. Now, if we didn't have an auger, I can say without a doubt, there is no, no effing way I would have done this without an auger. Even with the auger... It is, it is taken, God, I can't even tell you how long it's taken. I've been working on that for a little bit each day. Well, with the exception of, I think it was the first three days after Horde Night, we went down into the desert to go looting and looking for traders. But other than that, we have been steadily pounding on that. Now, this is my tree plantation. Every time I cut down a tree... I take the seeds and I bring them back here. That way when I need wood, I have this huge plantation set up here right by my base. Tons of wood. And it takes, it literally takes me no time. I have this great steel axe with mods. And I'm also specced into like harvesting and mining, farming. A lot of looting specs. Like the lucky looter, that was my main spec. But I kind of... I kind of went away from that now. I feel like after I hit level 3 in Lucky Looter, it's not that much more of a boost anymore. But, yeah, it's so nice to come over here. They're all 1,200 HP. Take, like, I think it's 6 swings. And, bye-bye, 240 wood. So, it's so nice to be able to just walk across the road from my base here. And have that but I want to show you a little bit of, on my base just so you guys can see what I've been working at see some of the loot I've been getting and I know this isn't my normal playthrough so it's kind of I just decided to make horde night videos of this just because these hordes are are so much fun I wanted to share it with you guys that's honestly the reason why now this is our trader chest and we still have almost 35,000 dukes yet and this is all stuff to sell obviously we'll be adding to it you know stuff we've been getting but that's just my trader chest I have two cement mixers going one is always making some the cement or concrete mix one is always making sand for it this is like my mods and weapon parts chest now, it's got quite a bit of stuff in it, and I don't know why I kept the the dies, but and this is like my building one. These have all got to go in the forge, but I've been saving them for now because I 
kind of trying to empty my forges out a little bit because once we have that underground base set up all my benches are going in there and this is just going to be filled with farm plots I gotta work on I really have to work on harvesting up some more rotten flesh once I get more rotten flesh this is basically only gonna be for farm we are completely completely without a need to loot for food a hundred percent we make veggie stew now and all you need is corn potatoes and mushrooms and this is all I've been using for I'm not even sure how long now but we I haven't touched the meat or the eggs or anything like that and I, I don't even know how many days now all we use is this stuff now this super corn this super corn is great I found the seeds in a farm down on the other end of the lake but yeah and this is my I don't even know what you call this chest it's the this stuff seeds cloth leather I don't even know what the hell you'd call it but I haven't used the sewing kit yet either and yeah I have four more slots left to open up so we do need to make some single pocket mods but and this is my ammo and weapons chest as you can see we have tons of other stuff in here that I don't even use and some of it I don't even know why I keep but it's just there I mean it is what it is but yeah we have so much stuff I will be making more ammo I had a ton of ammo before this started now I am pretty much out which is which is fine I mean I don't I honestly don't care ammo is not hard to make uh, the only thing I have an issue with is brass if any of you guys could be nice enough to let me know in the comment section where the hell is a good place to get brass because brass is like the only thing I struggle with on here and yeah I I literally have 87 brass so I know the radiators you can melt down I do have a little bit of brass in here but for the most part we're that's the only thing we're lacking and yeah you can see this is my um, building materials repair kits extra lock picks you know stuff like that but when the update come out all this went to zero durability all of it did so obviously this stuff I don't I don't really use I have my grade 6 wrench right there so this is just for like making workbenches I think it takes a wrench so that's all that's for but over here this is all um, what I'll call pre-made or made food like when you make you know I I'm horrible at explaining stuff so just forgive me on that but this is like pre-made stuff like the canned food the sandwiches all sorts of shit like that so as you can see we're not struggling and I honestly don't even touch this stuff I I think apart from when I'm out looting that's the only time I use canned food anymore and this is my meds we have found so many freaking meds it's just nuts I looted God, I don't even remember what the place was called down in the desert. And, well, you guys can see for yourself, we have so much shit. So much. That I honestly, I don't even know what to really do with this stuff anymore. There's just so much of it. And yeah, it's it's a great problem to have. I, I get that, but... I've pretty much just been focusing on making up that base now because okay the one thing I still really want okay two things I really need a chainsaw and I really want a better auger other than that I mean whoops you guys seen the weaponry 
level six club, level five junk turret. This is this is stuff we've been finding or been able to buy because of all the money from the stuff we've been finding. Now, I'm not trying to sound like I'm bragging or any sort of crap like that, but we have been doing super good on here. And I really think I owe it all to Lucky Looter, if I can be perfectly honest. I really think I owe it all to Lucky Looter. Lucky Looter has been... It's been giving us so much stuff, and I can't... I'm not going to tell you guys how to play your build or anything like that, but I honestly think Lucky Looter is the way to go. I honestly do. I have... Well, you guys saw just from these drops alone. I mean, look at this. Three pieces of really nice level 5 gear. And that was just from... Just from a couple zombie drops. You guys can see what's in the chest over here. I mean, I'm selling level 6 military gloves. So, I don't know. You guys be the judges of how Lucky Looter works. You'll see it more thoroughly in my playthrough on the pre-gen 1 map. And another thing, if you guys didn't know, is the Lucky Goggles all have different loot stats on them. So... That is another thing to be very cautious of when you get them. They're not all the same anymore. They do give completely different bonuses. But I'm going to quit rambling on about shit because you guys just come here to see the Horde Knight. You don't care about my babbling. So I'm going to cut the episode off there. We will have more episodes of the pre-gen 1 map coming out very soon. And hopefully we will have another Horde Knight video of this coming out possibly this week or early next week depends on how everything goes but i appreciate you guys so much for coming here and sharing this horde night experience with me if you guys are enjoying the content smash that like button tell me down below in the comment section and consider subscribing to the channel i'd appreciate it a lot and i really appreciate you guys just showing up to watch the videos if nothing else so again, thank you guys so much for being here and we will catch you in the next episode.